Hello and welcome to Better Beers. If you're an accountant, a lawyer, in an architectural firm, or in the health and disability sector, then you need to pay attention to our guest today, Peter Loosely from Virtual IT Managed Services. Thanks for joining us. Oh, thanks for having us here, Anthony. Really appreciate it. Peter, one of the uh, big changes that's happened in the last couple of years is the move to working remotely, to working from home. It's become a reality for uh, you know a necessity in many cases, but certainly a reality on an ongoing basis. In terms of what a business needs to do to prepare for that, um, you know how how important is it to be organised as far as your IT and and really to have a managed plan. Look, I couldn't stress it highly enough. The, the, the ability to work remotely now has um, tripled in uh, business requirements over the last, well, especially over the COVID period since 2019. Uh, about 2018, about 90, uh, 90 odd percent uh, of companies would actually know about remote work, but would not allow their staff to do it. Um, it grew to the point of where 42% of companies in 2019 suddenly started allowing, client, allowing their staff to be able to work remotely purely for the need. And now it's at the point where we're at about 58% of companies are now allowing staff to work remotely as a choice of work. We even have our own staff work at home when there is a quiet time or when they actually have personal time that they require. The, the ability for companies to prep themselves for this, though, has, has gone actually by the wayside. A lot of companies just think if they can go home, most of the stuff's in the cloud, they should be right. But um, this is where a lot of the threats are now occurring because the home is actually their weakest point. And if they're using company infrastructure on their very small uh, router at home, which has very basic firewalling features, if they're mixing it actually with their personal computer on their own network, which may or may not have a virus, if they're in fact even using their personal computers, it gets to that problem where people are putting their company data at risk because they're not properly prepared to actually work from home and actually set up a secured environment to do that. Yeah, and I, I imagine that that's something that you now have to spend a bit of time on with your clients in terms of, you know, how do you actually set someone up in a home environment so they have a secure, uh, you know, pathway into getting everything into the office and don't create those big holes that uh, allow attacks to come in. Absolutely. Now, now we've had the benefits of obviously a uh, fully cloud-based solution for clients so that we can set them up with their uh, business computers that are in a totally secured network with um, Microsoft. Uh, we have other clients that have their own personal, uh, their own business computers um, at home and we set up VPN clients so that they connect directly to the office with those VPN clients. Um, and then we have other clients that have web-based VPNs that don't necessarily expose the network, but allows them to be able to use functions and facilities in the office without necessarily that direct connection. So there, there are multiple, there are multiple uh, ways in which you can address this problem, but understanding how to actually work from a secure environment is paramount. That, that has got to be the first question. How do we start? Peter, you've given us a lot of amazing information today. Uh, how do people get more of that if they want to on a regular basis? Well, one of the things that I think would be the best value for people would be through our weekly cyber tech tips, which they can subscribe through on our website.